You voted for the top 10 games from a huge number of RPGs out this year and these are the winners. Hey Warriors, I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot I'll talk about your picks for the top 10 RPGs of the year on Android and iOS and I'll also be giving away 5 copies of the excellent JRPG RFL. More on how to win later in this video so stick around till the end and enjoy. Let's do this! Number 10. Tales of Crystoria while previous Tales games on mobile were more action-based, Tales of Crystoria takes a different style, which is its turn-based battle system, and I don't know about you, but I personally prefer my JRPGs this way. But more importantly, does it succeed? Tales of Crystoria not only celebrates the history of the Tales series, which has been running on consoles for a long time, but manages to stand out in the fierce competition on mobile, with its high level of polish and charm. You will find many of the fan favorite characters like Yuri or Lloyd available through the gacha system of the game and when you do take your team to battle, there is an option to speed up the combat or even auto battle, although I wouldn't recommend it in tough fights. The story, although dark at times, is told in a charming way and I found the characters very likeable. If you're a fan of the series, then Tales of Crystoria is loads of fun. But even as a newcomer, this is a great gacha RPG that definitely deserves more love. Number 9. The Last Remnant Remastered If you're like me and have been waiting for a high budget AAA RPG to play on mobile, The Last Remnant Remastered is one of the few new options out there and it made this top 10 thanks to your votes. But is this worth the investment? Originally released exclusively on the Xbox 360, the game looks beautiful and the story has its moments and will take you around 60 hours or more to complete and if you want to add the side content then you're easily looking at more than 100 hours of gameplay and for the price tag this is a great deal. Yes, the game has its flaws and I'm talking about the battle system which isn't overly well explained and the difficulty balance in pacing. That said, if you're a bit patient then you will reap the rewards. Because once you get the hang of it, the combat where you control several groups and carefully consider positioning and tactics is a lot of fun. The Last Remnant Remastered is a great deal for any true RPG fan and by supporting games like these we say that we want more real RPGs on mobile and I most definitely do. What about you? Number 8. Naruto X Parto Ninja Tribes Ninja Tribes is the latest game from the universe of Naruto following the previous game Ninja Voltage, which was great. So one can't help but wonder, is Ninja Tribes better? For starters, the game looks great and the animations are stunning. The gameplay mechanics are turn-based, team fights, and because you time travel in the story, you can choose different generations of ninja to fight by your side. There are three shinobi types, attack, defense, and tactical, and these are your elements, where one beats the other type of thing. The story is divided into chapters and the gacha here is friendly, as you will be given plenty of in-game currency to upgrade your team and summon rare characters. Ninja Tribes is the complete package and it's fun time for long-time fans, new fans or even if you never heard of it. Oh, and did I say you get to be trained by Naruto himself? Number 7. Dragon Quest of the Stars all Dragon Quest games on mobile are great, but Dragon Quest of the Stars is the first free to play in the series. So could it be the exception to the rule? It's definitely not the exception as an RPG gacha game as it doesn't do anything out of the box. And I can understand that as this was first released 5 years ago in Japan. What took them so long? I don't know, but what I do know is that compared to the premium Dragon Quest on mobile, Dragon Quest of the Stars falls short. I'm not saying this is a bad game because it's not, but the gacha mechanics, the battle system, even the story, it's all around average. And if you're a fan of the Dragon Quest franchise or JRPGs, you might get a kick out of this. I know I did and many of you who voted. Number 6. Pascal's Wager This year saw a flow of more action RPG Souls-like games on mobile than ever before and more on this in my previous video, link up here or in the description. Pascal's Wager tries to be the Dark Souls on mobile. You can feel it from the early moments of the game where you play as Terence, who looks like Geralt the Witcher in my opinion. And as Terence, you're thrown into this dark world where the sun never rises and demons are around every corner. The battle mechanics feel very Souls-like and enemies and bosses are definitely challenging, but the touch controls makes it an even bigger challenge. Personally speaking, the only way to enjoy this game is with a controller. Yes, you will still die a lot, but at least it will be fun and not due to the touch controls. The story will take you about 20 hours to complete, which is pretty good for the price tag. A definite must play for any action RPG fan looking for a challenge. Number 5. Guardian Tales there are so many reasons why you should be playing Guardian Tales, I'm not even sure I can list them all, but I'll try. 
For starters, Guardian Tales is an absolute joy to play. Its design elements will please all the nostalgic JRPG fans and its charm the newcomers. The story is your standard hero on an epic quest but it is still intriguing. The characters and dialogues are charming, the combat is solid and I really enjoy the flashy animations. The gameplay is just flawless and you just wanna keep on playing because again, this is a joy to play. And even beyond everything I just mentioned, there's a building sim within the game where you can build your own town with bakeries and cafes and other fun spots where your party can hang out. The gacha part in Guardian Tales is also fun as the summoning animation reminds me of those toy vending machines you can play in Japan. All in all, Guardian Tales is a high quality game with a lot of attention to details. The levels aren't repetitive, there's a ton of content and it's hard to believe that this one is a free to play game. And a quick reminder on how to enter the RFL giveaway. It's pretty easy. You should be a subscriber, like this video and let me know which game you vote for in the comments below. Winners will be announced the following week so that everyone has a chance. And one more thing, good luck to all of you warriors. Number 4. The 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross the 7 Deadly Sins had a game release on console not long ago and was kinda disappointing. So does Grand Cross on mobile do the anime justice? Visually speaking, Grand Cross is a treat to the eyes. The character and universe design is a mix of 2D and 3D anime art and easily one of the best in this category on mobile. The presentation and UI are excellent and the card battle system is polished and I really enjoy the soundtrack. The PvP mode on the other hand is somewhat of a letdown and the gacha system is on the pay to win side but the summoning cutscenes in this game are a blast and the augmented reality mode where you search the rooms for hidden rewards is just one of many ways this game stands out. We finally have a game that does the anime justice so naturally this is a must play for fans of the genre. Number 3 Exos Heroes Often enough with localized games, the translations are average at best. But that's not the case with Exos Heroes, as very little has been lost in translations and it's clear that much care has been given to ensure that the global version is up to the standards of the original. You play as Zeon, a treasure hunter who's lost his airship and wants his stuff back. The story is meatier than that and well crafted from a plot point, the combat is turn based with a fresh twist and the gacha summoning animations eye catchy. Which makes Exos Heroes an easy recommendation for all gacha fans. Number 2 Ark Knights In second place is the hybrid of tower defense and gacha RPG that is Ark Knights. The thing that made this game stand out for me was that you can complete each level without the need of a super rare 6 stars unit and with that comes the satisfaction from defeating a challenging new boss level or a tough wave of enemies. Another thing worth mentioning is that unlike most games in the genre, the leveling up process is simplified. You level up your characters and their skill level and that's a clever touch as it made me spend less time stuck in menus and more time enjoying the gameplay. With everything said, Ark Knight is straight to the point and I highly recommend it. Number 1 Genshin Impact Genshin Impact had people calling it a Zelda clone before it even came out and now that it's out the debate is still going and the short answer is yes. It is heavily inspired of Zelda Breath of the Wild but it is also its own game that caters to a different audience. Visually this game is absolutely gorgeous and you would need a high end gaming phone to run it at max settings but when you do it's definitely jaw dropping to see a game this technically performant running on mobile. The future is here warriors. The open world is massive and very well crafted. Crafted, the action combat is solid and skill rather than wallet based and the game on top of delivering an excellent single player campaign also has a 4 player co-op mode. Easily and by far the best RPG and best game of the year. And if you wanna know more check out my Genshin Impact special, link is up here and down in the description below. And that sums up your picks for the best RPGs out in 2020. And I'm just curious which game do you vote for? Leave your answer in the comments to enter the giveaway and a chance to win one of the 5 copies of RFL up for grabs. Winners will be announced on Twitter, Discord and the community page. Of course if you enjoyed this video your likes helps me out a ton and subscribing is a good idea if you haven't yet as I make new videos like this every week. Also special thanks to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members and if you also want to support my videos check out the official merch or become a member on Patreon or YouTube for as little as $1 and for more information on the rewards head over to patreon.com slash androidgamespot or check out the links in the description below. Once again I'm Ben, thank you warriors for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Android Gamespot. Stay safe and stay epic.